Well, now you've got your honey supers off of your hives. Hopefully you have them in the basement or the garage if it's bee proof. We don't recommend that you do this process inside the kitchen because it's sort of messy. When you, when you pick up the ECBA extracting kit, these are the things that you're going to get. You'll get a very sharp knife with which to do the uncapping, an uncapping tool to get those cells that you weren't able to take off with the knife. You can call this the bucket buddy or the pale pal. It fits on top of the five gallon bucket that you'll be putting the, the honey into. And it has a very fine filter to take off all of the bits and the, and the bits of wax and bees so that your honey will be um, perfectly filtered when it goes into the bucket. You'll also get these pieces, which form an outrigger um, stabilization system for the extractor. You'll see that in action a little bit later. The things that you're going to need to provide for yourself are a bucket to do the uncapping into. I also have a board with a couple of nails in it that will make that process a little easier. And you'll need and you'll need to bring your own bucket. This is a five gallon food safe plastic bucket. This one happens to have the bottling valve at the bottom. Those are available from your local bee supplier. Now we're going to put everything together and show you how to uncap the frames and spin the honey in the motorized extractor to extract the honey. Well, as you can see now, we have the extractor set up on the stabilization outrigger system. You need three heavy things to put at the ends of the, of the, the tripod system. Right now I'm using some uh, buckets full of honey. You could use sandbags or um, water softener salt bags. Three things to stabilize the system. What you see here is a frame of honey that is ready to be uncapped. And I'll start out using the very sharp knife. You have a bucket below and a way to stabilize the frame. I like to start at the top and being careful not to gouge the wood, I run the knife down the frame. This will often take off most of what needs to be removed. To get the cells that haven't been removed with the knife, I'll use the uncapping scraper. And I just want to break open the wax caps, but I don't want to gouge very deep. I want to retain most of those for when these supers go back on the hive the next time. I've done half, I've done the front side, and now I'll do the same for the back. The extractor that you're going to borrow can take six of these. We, I su we suggest that you have them six of them and you extract radially. You could also put in three more, but they would have to be turned. So I have found that doing six at a time is a good number because while those six are spinning, I can be uncapping another six. The frames go into the extractor top toward the outside. And there is a space inside, a holder, and they go right in. 
There are a couple of things before we continue that I'd like to um, note. When you're extracting honey, you're working with a food product. And so food level hygiene is required. You need to wash your hands before you begin. When you pick up the extractor, it will be clean and has been sanitized. And the expectation is that when you're done, you'll return everything clean and sanitized. Another thing I'd like to point out is that this particular super that I'm taking has been used a number of times. And so there are nine frames in a 10 frame hive or super body. That allows the bees to pull out the cappings a little bit farther and to make uncapping easily, more easy. However, the first time you have your um, super, it's going to have all 10 frames in. So when you do uncapping the first time, you might need the scraper a little more than you will in subsequent years. In order to have a balanced extractor, you want to have equal weight around the extractor circle. So therefore, doing one would be difficult. I'm going to uncap two more before we start the extractor spinning. This particular frame has not been drawn out as far as the previous one. So you can see the knife is not as effective. So I'll be using the scraper on this one to take the cappings off. Again, trying my best not to gouge down deep and trying to get all of the cells uncapped. You can do six of these frames and then you'll have a full extractor and it's time to start the spinning process. There's a variable speed motor and while it's carrying the heaviest load, we want to start slow and gradually increase the speed. You'll notice that I have the honey gate open. You always want to have that open when honey is being extracted. And eventually, when the honey comes out of that uh, valve, it'll go through the pail path and the filter into the bucket, which you can also then use to bottle out of. What I normally do while I'm waiting for one set of frames to be sp spun is I will do the uncapping for the next round. And then there is some patience involved. I like to have, I like to have um, the radio or music going and I usually increase the speed with every song. 
so that it takes two or three or four songs before I'm completely spun with each set of frames. At the end of, at the end of your extraction session, after you've extracted all of your frames, You might have had to fill up more than one five gallon bucket, hopefully, if you've had a good honey harvest. Take the weights off of the stabilizers. And give the extractor a tilt to get the last of the yellow gold out of the extractor. What we'll show you next is how to bottle your honey. So now that you've extracted your honey and it's in a bucket, it's time to bottle it. A full bucket of honey would contain approximately 60 pounds. So by the correct number and size of bottles, so that you can bottle the honey that you need. You can see that this is a bucket that has a honey gate. And when opening the gate, start slowly. And fill the bottles. This is a nice light spring honey. And so it doesn't have the same viscosity as the fall honey, which will have a slower flow. You want to make sure you fill your bottles up to the beginning of the threads. Put a, put a cap on it. And it's ready to enjoy. Good luck extracting and bottling your honey.